Hi, this is Dr. Shrikat Mujum. We will discuss refraction of light in basic physics course of diploma first year first semester. It is in unit 4 and the name of the unit is light. It is under sub module 4.2 refraction of light. The learning objective of this topic is to identify the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. Also be able to relate the refract the direction which light bends towards or away from the normal. If given the relative speed of light in the two medium. To start with, let us come to some background. Actually, this light gives us the details that we will discuss. Angle of refraction, dispersion, partial reflection, refraction, index of refraction, snail's law. To start, we will go back to our previous studies. In class 9, we have read the reflection of light from the plane and spherical mirrors. The return of light in the same medium after striking a surface is called reflection of light. That means when light comes from a medium, say air, falling onto some glass plate or a mirror, the light will be moved backward after striking the glass plate or mirror. This phenomenon is known as reflection of light. The reflection of light obeys two laws. Number one, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And second one is the incidence ray, the normal at the point of incidence and reflected ray all lie in same plane. That means incidence ray normal and the reflected ray all lie all lie in the same plane. That means the same plane or one plane. Actually we will study refraction of light through the plane and spherical surfaces of transparent media. We know light has a maximum speed of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in free space or vacuum. And it travels in diff with different speeds in different media. It travels faster in air than in water or in glass. The speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in air or in vacuum. In water, it is 2.25 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And in glass, 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. That means it is evident in vacuum it is maximum or air it is maximum and as a medium changes the density its refractive index its velocity becomes less that is it is moving with lower speed the speed of light remain constant in a transparent homogeneous medium while passing from one medium to the other. If the light slows down, the second medium 
is said to be optically denser than the first medium and if light speeds up the second medium is said to be optically rarer than the first medium that means again i can say if the light is slow the speed of the light is slow then second medium is optically denser than the first if light speeds up then the second medium is optically lighter than the first actually one thing must be pointed out optical density has no relation with the density of the medium kerosene is less dense than water if it flows floats as as it floats on water but it is optically denser than water optical density of a medium depends on the speed of light in the medium while the density of medium depends on intermolecular separation this should be very clear thus water and glass are optically denser than air or air in other way we can say air is optically rarer than water and glass similarly glass is optically denser than water or water is optically rarer than glass now come to the definition of the diffraction of light partial reflection and refraction at the boundary of two different medium in a transparent medium although light travels in a straight line path but when a ray of light traveling in one transparent medium strikes obliquely at the surface of another transparent medium a part of light goes back to the same medium obeying the laws of reflection and it is called reflected light the remaining part of light enters into other medium and travels in a straight path different from its initial direction and is called refracted light thus at the boundary separating the two media light suffers a partial reflection and partial refraction thus the change in direction of the path of light when it passes from one transparent medium to another transparent medium is called refraction the refraction of light is essentially a surface phenomenon in short say when light comes from rarer medium to the denser medium then on passing to the surface of denser medium the light bends towards the normal but when light comes from denser medium towards the rarer medium then it moves away from the normal this phenomenon of light is known as refraction of light now this is 
one real life example of refraction. Suppose this is a glass full of filled with water. Now, if you place a spoon here, then we can see this type of picture. That means it looks that it bends. The spoon is like this. It is like this. If you place a coin here, then it looks just like this spoon. This spoon is, it is, it looks like that it is moving up. It looks like it is moving up. Although, in actually, it is placed on the bottom surface of the glass. Refraction is a change in direction that already I have discussed of light. That means refraction is the change in the direction of light when it crosses a boundary between two substances or media. A medium is a substance or material through which light is traveling. The plural of medium is media. Now, this experiment we can done in our home. It can be done in our home. Just record a glass with some water, colorless water. No color should be poured. And another one is a teaspoon. If we place a teaspoon, then we can observe this phenomenon. Again, this is same. This is a glass. One pencil is placed. It looks like the pencil. It looks like the pencil is just the it is bending just like this. This is bending. No pencil is the pencil. Actually, this is a straight pencil. Originally, it is a straight pencil, but it looks like it is it it is bended like this. This is a refraction of light. This is due to the refraction of light. Refraction occurs already. That is. We have dealt with in our class 9 10. Refraction occurs when the speed of light changes in different media. The particles in a medium slow down the passage of light waves. Different media slow down light by different amounts. Again, if you place a glass slab on the table, if say laser light is placed of say any type of light, I am here this picture and laser light laser light is made to fall here. Then it looks like the light instead of moving straight, here it is bended. Then again bending. When light is coming from air to the denser medium, this is glass, it the light bends the light bends again when light coming from denser to rarer again it bends we know if we draw the normal the light should go along this direction but is moving towards the normal it is this is the normal along this direction this is the angle if we do move this it should this is moving towards the normal this is not going along this direction there is a deviation so as it is coming from rarer to denser, it is moving towards the normal. When it is coming from denser to rarer, it is moving away to the normal. Okay. Now light only refracts at the boundary. This is the boundary. This is a boundary. It is reflecting here. It is the surface. It is surface boundary is ref reflected. Light only refracts at the boundary when it is entering or leaving a medium. The more that light slows down, the more the light is refracted. Here it is here, the velocity applies, light is 3 into 10 to the power 80 meter per second, but here the velocity decreases. Already I have discussed the velocity of light 
in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So here it is reduced again. So it is slowed down. It is slowed down means it is refracted. So when the velocity is light slows down, the light is more the light is refracted. So refraction in water. Many of us we have observed this one. Suppose something is say under the water. If we move, we can see it looks like it is moving up. This is the picture. So light is coming from this one. When it is falling into the air and water surface, denser to rarer means it moves away from the normal. This is the normal. If we draw the normal here, then it will move away from the normal. So, apparently, from the observer, it looks like if you draw in backward direction, it looks like the object is in an uppish depth. That is, the depth is reduced. This is the apparent depth. This is the actual depth. So, light rays change direction at the surface of water. The image of this chest appears to be more shallow than the actual chest. This is another example of refraction of light in water. Now come to this figure. So this is air, this one is water. There are two medium. This is the intermediate surface between the air and water. That means the plane that is separating air and water. This one is natural. Now, so incident ray is this one. This is making an angle of I with the normal. So, I will be the angle of incident. That means, what is the angle of incident? It is the angle that is making an angle with the normal of the incidence. Now, as air is rarer and water is denser, then what will happen? It will move towards the normal. So instead of moving along this direction, it is coming closer to the normal. So this R is the angle of refraction. So angle of the refraction is the angle of the refracted angle made by the refracted ray with the normal. So this is the angle of refraction. So what is the refracted ray? The ray after crossing a boundary between the media. The angle of refraction is the angle between the refracted ray and the normal. This is the incident ray. Suppose this is the glass containing water. Now light should go along this direction, but there is a deviation and as it is rarer, then it is denser. This is the angle of incidence. The light is moving towards the normal. This is the angle of refraction. The part of light, part of light beam that hits the medium, first will slow down. How? So this is the medium. So this light is coming different points. So due to this, the light beam is slowed down. This one is the rough and making the entire row of scatters turn. More simplified way we can say, when a ray of, ray of light passes from one medium to another medium, its direction, its direction, its direction or path changes because of its change in speed of light. In going from one medium to another, in passing from one medium to other, if light slows down, 
it bends towards the normal and if light speeds up it bends away from the normal already we have discussed if light is coming from air to glass then it is bending towards the normal if it is coming from glass to air then it is moving away from the normal if the speed of light remains same in passing from one medium to another the ray of light does not bend that means if the speed is same the ray of light does not bend it passes undeviated now come to very good example cause of refraction that is already i have discussed in terms of car in a muddy surface we are discussing this one suppose the car is moving car is traveling at an angle this is the normal car angle towards a muddy surface this is a muddy surface this is a muddy surface one front wheel hits the muddy surface and slows down other wheels continue to move other wheels this is the front one it hits the muddy surface and slows down other wheels other wheels continue to move at higher speed its front wheel its speed is low back wheels its speed is higher then what will happen then it will deviate it or it will deflect it its path causes the path to bend that's why we have discussed for light also when it is moving with, with more speed in rarer medium in denser medium its speed is speed of the light is less so when light is coming from denser rarer to denser so what happens its speed slowed down and the light moves towards the normal this is the refraction here also for this one is denser this is denser to rarer so when light is coming from denser to rarer the velocity of light increases so it will move away from the normal now come here from muddy surface to normal surface the speed is slow of all the wheels here what will happen the speed of the front wheel is more than the back wheels then it will rush towards this in a deflected way it will deflect its direction there will be deviation in its direction and it will rush towards this this is i believe it is a well explanation of refraction of light